Hey everyone, I am Sumya Kagarkar and welcome to Agakomedia Academy. This is the 19th tutorial in Blender tutorial series for beginners. So in the last tutorial, we saw uh, subdivision surface modifiers and other modifiers as well. Now this is the last video in the modifiers uh, section. So what we are going to do is we are going to look at one of the most important modifiers that is the displacement modifier or the displace modifier. So here we have a plane, we just did shift A, you could have, you could have seen the shortcuts here, shift A and add a plane, right? So now let's go to the edit mode, to go to the edit mode, we are going to the uh, either press tab or from here go to the edit mode, right? Now we are going to do is, what we are going to do is, we are going to subdivide it a few times. So subdivide, subdivide basically uh, divides the plane, divides the geometry into, uh, you know, more parts. So here we are going to subdivide it, let's say 10 times, right? So this is what we have done. We have divided or subdivided the plane 10 times. So now this is the geometry. If we go again back to the object mode, we can see there is no change as of now, but it will soon change. Now we are going to look at the displacement modifier. Basically the uh, reason why we are doing the subdivision of this plane is to have some geometry to displace. So what does displacement modifier here does is it displaces. Let me just move myself away. So you could have seen as soon as I place the displacement modifier, uh, the plane itself got raised up uh, in the z-axis, right? So this is all about the strength. But right now there is no, uh, you know, control over the other parts other parts in the geometry to be displaced so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new texture so if we have a new texture now this texture let's just call it displace one right so we have called the texture displacement uh, displace one now we need to edit this texture right so here we go to the texture dis uh, texture properties panel here we are and this is our text uh, displace one texture going on right here. Now here the type is selected to be image or movie, but we have not selected an image or movie. What we are going to do is we are going to use one of these. One of my most favorite is clouds. Now what does clouds uh, texture look like is this. So this is a randomly generated cloud texture by Blender, right? We can use blend also. The blend is, you know, gradient basically. Uh, we have clouds. We have distorted noise, something like this. Uh, image or movie was the default, but we had to uh, by ourselves apply an image. Magic is something like this. Marble or Musgrave. You know all these textures. You can use uh, these textures to give some displacement to the uh, object right here. Wood, right? So my favorite is clouds. Now here we have some um, options right here. We can dis increase or decrease the size of the cloud. Here you can see what's happening here. Rather than seeing here, what you can do is first see here what's happening and then we can, uh, you know, subdivide it or not divide it uh, that many times to have the uh, look, right? So let's say we have something like this and the depth, depth is basically how much black and white is possible uh, means uh, how many uh, levels of depthness is possible then there is nabla you can just uh, scroll it up and down to see what's happening right now here if we just shade it smooth here we have our basic noise texture right now there is still no control over the height right so what we can do is again go to the modifiers panel right here and just increase the strength and just increasing or decreasing the strength will just give you whatever that you want right so what we are going to do is subdivide it a few more times so that we can have some good texture right here. So this time I'm subdividing, subdividing it four, five times, let's say. Now I'll be having a very, very, very cool uh, texture to look, look at. So as you can see, the more geometry we have to work with, the more, bet the better it will look, right? So it's all about it. The more geometry that you have, the better it will look. If we just shade it flat, now this looks good, far better than what it was before. And we can of course again play with the strength and have you know really uh, great textures right here, really great uh, landscapes right here. So 
if you are creating some landscapes or if you just want some uh, you know uh, land or ground to create or you just want something random uh, shape to be there then this is really really great displacement modifier so this is all about displacement modifier so i hope you learned something from this video this was one of the last videos uh, in the uh, modifiers panel section because there are so many modifiers but we cannot of course go through all of them because uh, we are just covering the basics of blender so from the next tutorial we are we are going to look at some other uh, things in blender which we can use to create awesome 3d models and animate also also so if you learned something new in this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed to this youtube channel please do subscribe share this video with your friends and family so that they can also learn to create awesome 3d animations inside of blender blender is a free animation software so it's really 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 cool if you have any queries or comments please comment down in the comment section below and see you in the next tutorials till then keep smiling and keep learning